Anything? Yep. Hey. It's, it's because my daughter called me on FaceTime. All Destiny, right. it was you. Everything all over Sorry, again. guys. Okay, Just so. Over. Yes! Okay, guys. What are we making? I bought, okay, we're making chicken, buffalo chicken sliders, biscuits, sandwiches. Okay, you guys, do you know we spent literally 25 minutes trying to figure out if we we're going to call them chicken sandwiches, chick, uh, Sammy's. Sammy's, sandwiches, biscuits, but we're doing biscuits that with chicken, like almost basically Popeyes, because they're on a biscuit. But and they're, and they're biscuits, but not we're, buns. Yeah, they're the only, everything like a chicken sandwich, but on a biscuit. Biscuits. So I bought a, an eight pack of basically a biscuit. Took it out a little early. Yes, I know they're a little low, but anyways, that ain't the point. I used four there. Four. So my four I had left, I diced them up, and I made, basically, you could have made four big ones, but I wanted to make it today and tomorrow. Okay, so I'm fat. Okay, so I diced them up. I made a small version of oh. monkey muffins. See, like that? They're all like little muffins. So I'm going to put icing on them. I feel like there's enough of the stickiness to go through it that it doesn't get... Sometimes you have the inside of the monkey bread and then the outside. And the outside is the ones that are crunchy because it's got the, the gooiness. Okay, well, these are small enough that you're like your ratio of crunchiness is better. yeah yeah you get it <laughs> so there's the crunchies and i'm gonna drizzle it with icing it just lets somebody who has only a few people i mean like it, it's fine if you have an eight pack and you have a bunch of people and you're gonna make all of eight sandwiches but for me and joe it's two people and instead of making four sandwiches because they're small we'll probably each have two instead of that we're gonna have dessert tonight and making use of it. You guys know how we are about, like, we're going to stretch it. We're going to make it all work. So, having said that, I'm going to ice it. I'll be making the icing. I don't need you guys. I mean, not that I don't need you guys. I mean, if you guys know. I think I made monkey muffins with y'all. Yeah, you've, you've done that. Hey, hey, God. You've done it before. You've you done just, it before. You've heard it. You've you guys it. are going to find. Check out our who, live. Hi, Boogie guys, Bear. Check on lives. Not the videos, but the lives. Boogie, look. Those are all the 250 or 300 that we've done. We have videos on, on our lives. videos, and we have videos on our lives, guys. Yeah. If we ever get tired, and you, or if you guys ever get sad and miss us, go to the videos, and you'll see ones we did on Facebook. Yeah. Then our lives are ones we've done yeah. here, gotta, if everybody didn't know lives, that. Though. But, Drew, your sister called just now. We literally went through five minutes of trying to figure out how to shut it off we, because it was still doing the FaceTime was connected. Okay, Joe. Mmm, guys, jeez, Joe. We got stuff going on, man. Okay, Joe wants to start with you guys, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show him. The... All right. We're gonna make these, um, these uh, make chicken it. chicken sandwiches. We're gonna make them uh, like a uh, Are you Frank's, gonna make the hot sauce first? Like a hot sauce, you know, dipped in hot sauce. So they're gonna be like a buffalo. Like a buffalo sauce. It's a buffalo sauce. Okay, we make our own version, and you guys can buy the buffalo jar of buffalo hot yeah. sauce but we like to doctor ours up with buffalo sauce but then joe we add like butter uh worcestershire it's a garlic powder onion powder yeah. we add s some spices to it so it's ah you butthole <laughs> she means hot sauce whatever and then you add the butter but we'll we'll do that we'll do that in a little bit but what we're going to make also, along with the, the chicken biscuits, um, the buffalo wing, buffalo hot, hot buffalo. Buffalo. Sandwich. It's just called a biscuits. buffalo biscuit biscuit. sandwich yeah. slider. <laughs> so call it whatever the hell you want to call it, you guys. Anyways, plus we're going to make Think? potatoes. Okay. Wait. Wait, Joe, move. Just because I had problems with it doesn't mean you have to swoop yeah. in here. <laughs> Pixie girl, thank you for the, the tool. And Burke's Bunch. Burke's Bunch gave us a mandolin thing. We love it. Love it. Because we can, we're making chips with it today, you guys. We're making chips in a slider. Hello. And we use those to slice these up. We put them in water. Put them in the fridge until just now. Okay. We use the mandolin. Get them all done. Joe does it like me now. <laughs> and now we're going to, we're going to dry the, we're okay. not going to do that. I'm going to show them. Look, you guys. Pixie, stop it, Pixie. It's cool. 
This is only two potatoes. And you know what we found out, you guys, is I've done two potatoes. <laughs> I see the I see the paper towel fly up front. <laughs> Oh my God. I just want to say two things and then I'll be done. Two potatoes filled this up versus when I were to cut it with a knife, we probably got maybe 20, right? I mean, you're yeah. doing thin, you just make can't our do own them. Potato chips, basically. But they're, they're a little bit thicker than potato chips, but. But stop it, yeah. you guys. They're like seeable. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's it. I'm done, bro. All right. It's all yours. All right, thank you. When I, when I call you, then you can come oh over. Oh my God. God, Joe. But only then. You know what? So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put these over here. I'm sharing. Uh, what'd you do? What? What are you doing? What'd you do? With what? <laughs> With my napkins are right there. Oh, 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 oh. My <laughs> bad. I'm sorry. All right. I was gathering them up. Right. You stupid. Dump them out of here. And then I we're gathered them gather up. Dry. Oh my God, you let them see my legs. Oh, sorry. Jeez. You guys, sorry about that. I didn't gather mean to gross anybody else. This out. is a good job for you, babe. Oh, I. <laughs> Pat, these dry. You guys are going to find my husband's... You're going to find out. me on the next Separated. Snap episode. Let them dry out. Okay, bro. I don't know how to pat them out. Right. I don't She's need to be told. All right. Well, there, don't I'll take... Patted. I'm taking my tool home. <laughs> <laughs> don't go away, man. Just go away. Just shut up. How about that? All right. So now, so what we got to do is take your chicken. And I'm oh. not going to go through this really fast like I usually do. Just gonna make sure everybody understands what's going on. That's the point of our show. All right, right? so make sure they get it. So basically, I'm gonna do one of these, and then you're gonna put it back. And then I'm gonna put it back. Let's see what's that. Hopefully, we have enough. Yeah. We'll have. Uh oh. What's this Wi-Fi thing? What's it doing? I don't know. It just says share. It. it just says yes. Oh. Okay. It's okay. There you go. All right. And we're back. <laughs> all right, sorry. So you just take plastic wrap, all right? So we're gonna start with plastic wrap and thin cut chicken breast. All right, so I'm breast. just gonna do, uh, I did four of these already, and but this is how I started them. And we're getting down to the last of this roll, so I'm just trying to use it all up, but I don't need much. All right, so there's that. We're just going to do that. So you just get your plastic wrap, and then you take a, a chicken breast. I'm going to take a smaller one. Are you aimed down? Oh, okay. Okay. Take a chicken breast. And what I did was, since they're uh, these are small biscuits, or they're, they're small sandwiches, so what I did is I, I just cut them to, you know, roughly the shape I want to put on our biscuit. Just cut them to that size at least and then um, put a piece of plastic on the bottom. And I'm going to cut this right now, just so I don't have to do all of this. Thank you guys, everybody coming in. I appreciate you guys. Okay. So put your chicken breast on and then spread it out. Having some issues, of course, always. And then just oh baby, hey Cinderella. Usually Rainbow, use two Liz. pieces, so it doesn't have a fold right there. Might but be. take that, take something heavy. I'm sorry we came in early, guys. I'm sorry we came in a little bit earlier than normal. And pound this out, flatten it out. I know it's thin, it's pretty thin, but I want it thinner, so so we can they'll fry up nicely. So I'm just gonna flatten that out. It'll tenderize it too, even more. So get it even, and there you go. You're gonna have a nice little chicken cutlet there, nice and thin. Lundy, so that's I what I did to you. all of my chicken pieces. And JC. then after this, let me put this away. Thank you guys, I really appreciate you Back. being patient with us. Hey Tater. Anybody, I know some people came in at the beginning when we were having technical difficulties. Thank you for the ones that hung out and helped us, and I apologize uh, for the Boom. tech difficulty. I took so he did it earlier so he could start it soaking. And you don't have to marinate, but it will make it an extra juicier, tenderer. It fl flavors the chicken. Yeah, come it tender on. Tenderizes it even more and flavors it. But uh, what I did... 
was got some buttermilk. Just put some buttermilk in here and then um, some hot sauce. Any kind of hot sauce, just make some, either make some buttermilk or buy some buttermilk. And you make your buttermilk with a cup of uh, milk and a, a tablespoon of vinegar. Yep. All right, and, and then that's your buttermilk. And you can use it for your baking needs, your soaking your chicken needs. It's buttermilk. So, it's the same as buying it, y'all. So that's, that's all this is, is buttermilk and some hot sauce. Make it, you know, so it's a nice pink, you know, with your with your hot sauce. Uh, how much of your hot sauce you want to put in there? It doesn't matter. It's it's gonna flavor it. It's gonna flavor it. Commander, I'm sorry, and bitch. It's not gonna over flavor it. You know, if you put more hot sauce in than than you think. So this has been uh, marinating for, you know, like five hours now. This was so. given to us with a set. I won't use it, Peter. Let me tell you though, he gets me close. She said, "Don't use it on Joe." Uh -huh. <laughs> right. I get tempted. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> you know what, bro? <laughs> done. I'm done. So so anyways. Anyways, those those monkey muffins are mine. Anyway. So now we've got these. They're they've been soaking. You know, just gonna flavor them up. You don't have to do that. It's fine if you don't. If we don't, how would we do it? Just dip it in buttermilk, you think? Yeah, you could you, you can use just use milk if you want to, just to, to wet it so you can put your you know your dry you know, so the your dry ingredients will stick to it. You can go through the egg and the you know the egg wash with just an egg uh, uh, scrambled up and then you you put your uh, flour on you put your put it in your egg mixture and then you put it back in your flour or a seasoned flour after that you know but we're not going to do that today because I've done this and all the flour is going to stick to my chicken without having to go through an egg wash and uh, a pre uh, flour bath if there's any people that are first so. time cooking you need something wet, ideally, your chicken to be wet by either milk, egg, buttermilk, water. It's got, it should have something to soak on it. Yeah. If you're, we made these potatoes earlier. If you cut your potatoes, you need to dry them. And the reason we're patting them dry is because with that hot oil, if there's any water on it, it will splash and make a big mess. So yeah. any first time cooks coming in, you can do these ahead of time. I did them around one or two today, but they, for soaking them, you need to soak them in water. And then when you soak them in water, <laughs> when you soak them in water, then just make sure you, like right now we have them all layered because I don't see how there's droplets on it. Once it goes into, see right there? Once we put it in the hot oil, it will bubble up and splash. Yeah. So you can't go right from your your, yeah, it's a good tip. Your, bo your bowl of water or your bowl that they were soaking in. You have to literally dry them. Yeah. So, I mean, you just don't know if we have first time cooks here and they didn't realize that. We're drying them off because they were soaked because we did them earlier. Right. So, FYI. And ahead. then like chicken wings, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna make chicken wings the same way, you know, you don't, you know, if you're gonna buy the frozen ones, especially ones in a bag, well, they're pre-packaged. Yeah, they're better priced. So uh, if you're going to do those, you have to thaw them and then pat them dry. And, and it'd be best to put them on a rack, put them in the fridge, and then let them set overnight. And then do them the next day and they'll be super dry. Um, if, if they're wet, they don't. Number one, it'll, it'll, it can splatter on you. I mean, especially if they're really wet or if you got ice crystals in there, it'll just explode on your stove. So just dry you gotta dry your stuff off keep the moisture out of it if you're gonna deep fry anything so okay so now we've got these are marinated there's gonna we're gonna set those off to the side and then we're gonna make our coating and I got a cup we're not doing a lot so I just put a cup of flour in and I'm gonna season the flour and I'm seasoning it with a tablespoon of salt a, a teaspoon of pepper I like a little tiny bit of like a, a pinch of uh, cumin. Joe then, makes a really good coating. We have like three or four family members that will call and ask for Joe's fried chicken coating. The flavor of it is not just flour. It makes a difference, trust me guys. So then we have a teaspoon of uh, chili powder, a tea, uh, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're just gonna dump that in. And again, you don't have to do this, but it does help with the flavor. And we're gonna salt it after it's done frying too, just to enhance the, the coating flavor. So we're just gonna whisk this up. 
incorporate everything. And one thing that I'm going to do different what is when that? I coat these is I've got a quarter cup of buttermilk, all right, and that I made, just a quarter cup. And instead of just dredging in here, we're going to create some little uh, clumps in there. So it's uh, when it's on the chicken, it, it's a little bit uh, clumpier. And There we go. Sorry about that. Something keeps happening. We had to reconnect again. I don't know when it went out. but uh, Does it say that? It said reconnect, so I had to reconnect. I hope I'm reconnected. It's uh, it's moving on. Yeah, oh, because I stuff. had bad... Uh, bad Wi-Fi? No, should we? What part did they not see? You have to look uh, at I will, I will, I will. Okay. Just give me a minute, and I'm going to see. Gonna, we're going to relax for a minute and see where we're at on, it, on our... Uh, let's make sure it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Give us a, Let me just turn everything else off for Wi-Fi. Device back. Uh, now what? What does it say on here? Orientation is locked. You locked the orientation the other way. Darn it. I just got, it's just, it's okay. I just got to, uh, oh, there you go. Okay. It's just, it didn't register that way. Uh, it flipped it back over. Sorry about that. Uh, she's going to look on the, on her phone or on my phone and want? then see where we're at, where we stopped. Oh, oh, so you can repeat it? Yeah. Okay. Just go back a little bit. Chicken, it's a little bit uh, clumpier. Okay. There we go. A little clumpier. A little All right. Clumpier. So, it's a little clumpier now as you can see it's not just flour in there and uh, seasonings it's got nice little clumps everywhere and that's what and then you just smoosh that on the bottom if there's big huge if there if there <laughs> there's if there's huge no that's what's just funny uh, if there's really big chunks in there just squ squish them down and then the dry stuff will break it up and you'll have like little pea sized what does chunks. it do to it uh, it makes uh, makes it uh, clump up on the airy, on the, on the chicken, yeah. so it makes it little crisp bites on there. So, Versus it just being a coating. Yeah, instead of just having a, a thin layer of of uh, breading, breading, yeah, uh, your flour. Now you're gonna have little chunks on there. We're gonna press it in there, and now it'll have little thick pieces all over it. Okay. So that's all I'm gonna put in there. I made. A, that's why you don't want to make much because you may have to be wasting it. <coughs> if you don't make a whole bunch we're only making a few so we're just keeping it keeping it small so now our coating is ready and in the meantime we're going to take this pan and we're going to make our sauce that we're going to toss them in or coat them in and I'm going to use a half a stick of butter small so I'm gonna put ah, half a stick of butter in the pan and, <coughs> excuse me. and you don't want this Question, to boil at all. Do you have a Starlink? My husband is at the houseboat on our Starlink is jacking up over there. Um, no we have um, Ours is like, our library gives us a hot spot, like we check it out. <laughs> oh, Commander! God damn this bird. So, we're gonna, and this is all you need for buffalo sauce, is basically equal parts, that's about, half a, that's about a quarter cup of butter that I put in there. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup or a little bit more of whatever hot sauce you want. And, and that's and you can stop right there yeah. and you'll have great buffalo sauce, okay? We've used Frank we've used Frank's Red Hot. We've used this brand Louisiana. Yeah. We've used two or three different ones. I wouldn't say one tasted better than the other. They all because we add so many other spices to it that the finished product is pretty pretty amazing. Yeah, it's good stuff. But uh, I'm going to add a little bit of extra stuff into mine just to give it a little bit, uh, a little bit of texture and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of depth of flavor. But uh, like I said, it can be just butter and hot sauce and you will be well satisfied. So I'm basically going to take this little tab off of there, dump it on in. So about equal parts of butter and hot sauce. So there we go. And then I am going to add 
little bit of ketchup just for some texture, not a whole lot. Okay. Squirt. I'm going to use a little bit of pepper. Not a whole lot, just dust in the stuff in here. And a little Worcestershire, just a splash. Okay. And that is our buffalo wing sauce or buffalo hot sauce. Like I said, you don't need anything else in there other than the butter and the hot sauce and you'll be fine. A lot of people use Frank's because they love the wings, the butter and the, the, the hot sauce from Frank's. It makes a good combo. I'm going to taste this in a second here. Give it a go. See where I'm at. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. So, but you don't want it to boil. Don't don't boil it. Don't let it uh, boil. Not even really a simmer at all, because then it'll separate. Okay, you don't want that. So, so there you go. That's gonna just warm up together. I got it on basically very very low, just to uh, melt the butter and keep it hot. So we're gonna move all this stuff over. Don't think we need any of this anymore. You guys, I apologize. I'm just reading all the comments. We had problems from it freezing. We had problems from the sound at the beginning. I apologize immensely. You guys sticking with us. Um, the hot spot is just a little, um, uh, we just, we apologize. There's no, I, I can't stand excuses. That's just the most annoying thing. <laughs> all right, now we're going to get down to business. And I got my, I'm gonna crank up my heat on my oil. Crank it up. I'm gonna crank it up to about 350. And then when I put my, I'm gonna like, it's a small pan. So, um, here we go. It's a small pan. So we're just gonna like probably do one at a time because I don't want them piling up in there. There's, there's just not enough room in there. So we'll just one at a time. Um, I'm gonna get it up to about 350. Once I put them in there, it'll cool down to about three. 330, 340, and that's where I want to cook them. I don't want to cook them too fast, but they will cook fast because they're nice and thin. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna try to get all of it in there. Do you think the chicken? Do you need egg, or you can go right nope. to buttermilk to flour? Buttermilk oh. right to the flour. I didn't know that. Yeah, we don't need no egg. It's wet enough. Don't need nothing to bind it because. Hey Faith, welcome in, babe. What? Little secret also is that I put thank you, thank you, like a, a handful of flour in the marinade so it will all this stuff will adhere to the chicken um, so then the flour will adhere to the floured marinade that that's on the chicken it's a little bit thicker on the chicken so it'll adhere better and stay on there better so just a little tidbit but uh, you don't have to do that like I said it can just be you know buttermilk and hot sauce with nothing else in it, but uh, I put a little flour in there just to let it cling to the chicken. Okay, just helps out. So let's see, what do we got? I got my fork. I'll try to keep my hands a little bit clean. But here's the first one. We're just gonna push it in there, get them clumps to stick. And then we're just gonna cover the top of it, push it down on there cover it really really well keep putting on top press down smush them little little pieces on there so they stick to it like play-doh and then we're going to I'm at 345 right now to shake off anything that's extra on there we'll show you what it looks like in a second just had to of there was just spots. a couple of mods that were asking for. Uh, I must not have given all my mods. So. There's, <laughs> oh, there's what it looks like. It's got those chunks on there. That's what's going to give you that, uh, you know, the, uh, the rather than just having a thin layer of coating on a piece of chicken, it looks like it's you know thick coating without having you know three three coats or, or putting like uh, what is that corn flakes or or you know stuff like that in there. But uh, one thing I didn't do is, uh, but we're gonna just move on. And then we're just gonna throw it in there, very 
Okay. You don't want to put a spoon in and make sure it's ready? Just kidding. No. <laughs> so there we go, our first one's frying away. I just laid it in there very close to the oil and plate, let it you? splash away from me. You guys, I know we should put it on a rack to drain the oil off. We don't have one, sorry. We do pay for towel and it works just fine. So then we're just going to repeat the process with oh, our next piece of chicken. What did you forget to do? Uh, cornstarch. I was going to use oh, cornstarch too. Oh, you were going to. But this is this will. But work I think by. that's only if you do it. Oh, in the dry. Yeah. You should do the two of them with the two without, so we can see the difference. Oh, yeah, I could put cornstarch in here. Yeah, the butter part. Yeah. We'll see. Well, I'm going to add some cornstarch to our to our next two after I do these two, and then we'll see what the difference is with just no corn cornstarch at all, Very with just cool. seasonings and flour, and then the other one with uh, uh, I'm going to add. I put a cup of, there's a cup of flour in here. I'm going to add uh, a half a cup of cornstarch to it and mix it in there. And then see if it comes out crispier than with just the flour. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Commander. So we're just going to leave that Hi, in Cinderella. there. Hi, Cinderella. Thanks for coming in, Mama. Hey, Meltdown. Get our little tongs. Thank you all for coming in. Everybody's popping in. I appreciate all the love you guys show. Cinderella, Faith, everybody. I truly do. Um, you guys are just blessings to, to just to be in, in, the, in the surroundings of where I'm at. Currently, it's just a blessing. I appreciate everybody. Anybody up in the... Uh, in the anybody up in the... Well, uh, cornstarch is going to be added to this after a second here. Anybody up in the bushes, please don't feel pressure to come down. You're more than welcome to stay there till you're ready. Just know everybody is welcome here. Any community, anybody. I don't, we just don't talk drama. So I wouldn't know where you came from at all. I just know that everybody, I want everybody to feel free to talk, ask questions, discuss. Just anything you want to do, just know that you're welcome and you're free to come down and talk. Anybody, just just uh, omitting any kind of drama talk is my only request. Now with these, I'm not going to time. I'm not going to time anything out with the chicken. Um, I'm just going to cook it until it's the color I want because it's so thin. It's. I'm sure it's already cooked already. Now I'm just getting the outside to a to a, a decent color that I'm looking for. So, but they cook up pretty fast when they're this thin. I'm just gonna keep flipping her over. Give you a look at it. I have come a long way, Cinderella. Everybody. She is, so many she's things. floating now, so she's she's pretty much cooked. I'm just Everybody gonna brown up that brown. outside just a little it. bit more. How's it going, Temperature's coming back up to about 325. I love you. <laughs> Commander, come from the heavens and bless us. Commander, I love you so much, my stupid ass friend. Come on, baby. Do you think that I should be sticky buns on a live, you guys? Do what? Sticky buns? Because I don't have pecans, so they'd be like just a sticky cinnamon roll. I mean, I can do cinnamon rolls, but we did that with you guys, and I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. It's all right. We're doing it. We're still cooking. What are your thoughts? Do you think we should do a, a cooking live with my cinnamon rolls, or, um, oh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Right, we're gonna oh, I got to do the pickles, Daddy. Okay. Don't forget. And I'm putting ranch on mine. And there we go. There's our first piece. Okay. It's pretty, Dad. We're put it over there. We're gonna salt it a little bit, just while it's still uh, hot or uh, moist yeah, from the watch over us <laughs> wet from the oil. <laughs> All right, we're back up to temperature. We're gonna put our second one in. Lay that in there, away from you, very slowly. And remember, guys, you're also being cautious with it because the oil's very hot. So the rest have uh, the cornstarch. Yep. Oh, so you probably need in. a little more butter milk. 
Oh no, this is still that thing will be fine. No, I want a little more buttermilk. You're not putting that in. I, you know what? I want mine the way I all want right, it. All right, I'll put it. Is this Burger King having your way or is this Joe's? All right, a little more buttermilk, buttermilk for the for the missus. For the missus. Now we're just gonna spin that around. Still got the chunks in there. Still got chunkies in there. We like it chunky. All right, now we got some uh, cornstarch mixed in. So we'll see if that makes it crispier than with just flour. See if it's true. But that looks pretty good. My friend's here. I love that I'm friends with everybody on here. I love that. Our sauce. And you guys, all set. another way you can do it is buttermilk with pickle juice. If you have pickle juice, you can do it like that. Joe just does his with hot sauce because we we're planning to do yeah with pickle buffalo. juice. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna marinate with pickle juice, which is it's a great it flavors the you can put pickle juice in buttermilk in the buttermilk too. But if you just do pickle juice alone, you have to dry your chicken off after you get it out of the marinade. You have to do it. It will not adhere to it. I've, I've experienced that phenomenon. It's a phenomenon. <laughs> We're looking good. The other ones, the next two we're gonna have. Can you hand me a, um, a ramekin from up there or a dish or something? A ramekin? Yeah. Do you, you need pickle too for yours or not? Oh yeah, pickles. Gotta have pickles. We're having, we're having the whole spiel, man. I'm having dunked in my hot sauce, and then I'm gonna have pickles, and that's it. Pickles and hot sauce and the, the biscuit buns. You guys, I appreciate anybody's blessings that you're able to send, whether it's $1, $2, or $4, $5. Please know everything that you send us literally just puts back in, honestly. Um, it just does. We buy um, the stuff we buy. We honestly try to figure out what would be what would be great to cook for you guys. We wanted to do the gnocchi. We wanted to do the crispy. Uh, what is that called? Bruschetta. Uh, yeah. um, honestly, we try to think of like things that you guys would like. And honestly, it's a pleasure to cook for you guys. But we also just do it in hopes of getting some of that back. Don't feel, please don't feel pressured. If anything, if anybody can bless us, thank you. If you can't bless us, please share or hit the like. It's 100% free and it blesses us immensely that That's you share. If you share us, if you like it, it, it helps us in our algorithm. It, it allows us to get more subs, you guys. We're we're 45 or 2,500. Uh, watch hours. Oh, way. We're 500 watch hours away, babe. I just saw nice. it. Yeah, 500 away. 500. Before we can start doing members, before we can start doing, that's my main thing I want to do is I want to start cooking with people, individuals. Yeah. That's going to be one of our things is people are going to have a one-on-one -on -one cook lesson once a month for, I don't know if I would do Patreon. That feels like it's too blue. I'd rather just have members. I'd rather just have uh, subs and members. I don't know Patreon is too much. It's just not my, it's not that it's too much. It's, I want everybody to have the same liberties. And that's, that's my mentality is if I, why would I want to show favoritism? I understand they're paying, but I want everybody to learn. I don't want just you guys to know the special recipes. And then the, I want everybody to know all the recipes. I want everybody to have private lessons, but I think that's what's going to be our members is you'll get um individual like uh, we'll set up a time that you guys if you want to learn how to do something to cook something we're going to walk through it we're going to look at the recipe whether it be lemon meringue pie coconut cream pie i mean we i cook bake whichever i can do any of them um and then i have my brother and i have my son they both are chefs like we'll be more than happy to tackle a recipe and it's fun it's exciting Poppy wanted us to make tamales. We had never made tamales. We researched it. We made it. Um, I just want you guys to gain something. Honestly, that's I've told you guys that on so many lives. I don't want you guys to give me an hour of your time and you guys get nothing. I don't want you guys to sit here for 30 minutes and get nothing. 
I want you guys to be like, holy crap, I gained something. Like an hour ago, or I didn't know how to make this. I know how to make it now. Six months ago, I would have never known how to make chicken cordon bleu. I would have never known how to make Southwestern egg rolls or pizza rolls or pumpkin rolls or uh, I made a pumpkin roll for you guys. I want to learn, teach you guys how to make all the things that I make. I really, really do. I don't want nothing to be like, like, man, I would cook more, but I don't know how. Because it's, I want you to enjoy that with your son or daughter. You know what I mean? Have your son come in there and, and you cook with him and you all cook dinner together and have your daughter come home from college and you guys bake cinnamon rolls together and it's memorable. Like I love, me and Joe love cooking together. But when Destiny was home, she cooked. When Drew was here, he cooked. We go to Michigan, me and his wife cook together. I mean, I love cooking with people and I love sharing that intimate, that intimate relationship. I mean, you guys are talking while we're waiting for something. You guys are asking questions. Oh, I don't like onion. Oh, I didn't know that. You're sharing personal information with you that you wouldn't have known if you guys weren't sitting in the kitchen together. I mean, if you don't like your in-laws, shit, you don't want to be sitting there and looking at them for <laughs> 45 minutes. But, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, just tell your husband, hey, why don't you come and help me cook instead? I'm just kidding with you guys. I don't need to say that. That's not nice. Our sauce did not boil it. No, no, no bubbly. Just warm it up. Let Just get your flavors in there. Butter and hot sauce only if you want, and that's great. Thank or doctor it up with I a little bit of ketchup for a little bit of sweetness, yes. a little bit of texture, a little pepper, a little uh, cayenne if you want it hotter, whatever. Faith, thank you for the blessing. I truly appreciate it, Mama. Anything you give us, and I appreciate the cash app that you send. I truly do. It It's a blessing. It really is. And I know it sounds like so cheesy to say I appreciate anything, but I mean, I really do. You, I mean, a whisk makes me excited, you guys. I, I don't care who thinks it's stupid. I'm, I'm grateful. I, I think you have to remember that um, it's just different people from different backgrounds mean different things. Money is um, it's helpful to their home. All right, last Where one. somebody's got a lot of it, they're going, well, what am I going to do with this? I mean, add it to, for us, we're going cool. You know what I mean? We bought some stuff to cook on our lives. It helps it us. Um, we enjoy it. It allows us to be able to whether, I mean, grab something from the store because we forgot we used the rest of the brown sugar. We got to grab some more of that. Or Joe and I will grab, I mean, last time Milltown gave us $5 and we were so excited. We went and bought ice cream and a two liter of soda. And I, some of you guys know our little, I mean, Destiny's in Budapest. So to us, it's been a long time since we've had a little treat of going out to ice, to ice cream or anything like that. So we were excited. I don't care who laughs. We bought a two liter of soda pop and we bought um, a half a gallon of ice cream and it was like $5.90, five or $6.90. And then I had um, Dollar General coupons um, that I was able to use like $3 off. So it must've been $7.90 and I took the $3 off. And then, I mean, literally it paid for our whole soda pop. It was wonderful, you guys. I was so excited. I went live with you guys. I'm like, you guys, we're having a, a root beer float with you guys. and. It was just nice. It was nice. Anyways, um, we are doing, okay, you guys. Did anybody see the live I posted coming up, you guys? You guys, we are doing, I want to tell you what we're doing. So I, so you guys don't think it's silly. Okay, so, um, can I just tell them? I don't care. Ah, I sounds like you do care. No, that's all right. Okay, remember, Okay, this is the thing, you guys. I love you all so much. My heart is excited for you guys, okay? Okay, so listen to my story. We want to make... Um, okay. Okay. Why do we want to make... Ah, okay, <laughs> we looked back and we made... There were wings. Maybe you made them just stare at that this whole time? No, they were staring over here at me too. Over at the, oh, the food. There's the carne. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Biscuits. Padme, Joe's sauce, and then the fries. Okay, so we looked back and we saw that we made chicken chili. Hey, is that Lakes for Days? Hey, Lakes for Days, I haven't seen you in a while, baby. You're good. Um, okay, okay, so you guys, 
we saw that we have made um we saw that we have made um chicken chili we made it on a video when we were on facebook then we came over here and we made it four months ago we made chicken chili for you guys so we didn't want the chicken chili to be like um oh my god she's making that again no baby don't explain be busy i won't listen to me everybody we have replays for a reason come and watch us when you have all the kids are asleep when your uh, your husband is uh, working overtime please 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 never feel like even one of my girlfriends like i'm sorry we got a date night it's like please do date night taster what no yeah a little taster no yeah no taste it okay let me cut it <laughs> okay ready ready this isn't our real tank okay. show, me, show me inside there you go oh look at how steamy. yummy Nice and crunchy. This isn't the real tink, y'all. No, this is uh, with the uh, hey, cornstarch. Hey, This is with the cornstarch. So. Cornstarch. Tink. Oh, can it. we dip it in our hot sauce? Yeah. Oh, let's just wait. I feel like uh, we're doing tinks. Yeah, we're doing tinks, yeah. Okay. We're just okay. tasting. We're just tasting the chicken as it is. Is it? Tink. Okay, ready? Mmm. I want the two that you made with cornstarch. Mmm. That's going to be Perfectly good. seasoned. Yeah, very nice. Very good, y'all. Mmm. Very good. The important thing to notice is there's no gap. I'm trying to find it. Where is it? Over there. There's no gap between the chicken and the meat. It's connected right to it. See it? The uh, coating and the meat. The coating and the meat. Yeah, it's stuck to it very well. Very good. Very good. It looks we're good. We're not doing our real link yet. Very okay. good. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to do... Oh... All right, let's assemble this stuff. We need a taste division. <laughs> That's what our Patreons can do. We'll ship them a, um, a taste of what we're made tonight. <laughs> okay, we're going to make... Okay, I want to tell you guys, so that way if you guys want to be here, you'll make it a point. If you guys don't want to, you guys can go about your day. All right. We're going to make, because we loved it so much, you guys. We loved our bur burrito. What do we call it? Uh, it was, uh, it was a lasagna. It was our a, Mexican lasagna last night. With we uh, really, 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 tears. really liked it a lot. I mean, it was the bomb. It was good, man. It was so good. So. We have decided to do another one. Oh. No, bitch, we oh, wait, can't. I gotta keep this on. Yeah, do fries. Do fries yet. Commander, you're making me feel like crap. Jesus. All right, let's assemble. There's these. nobody that will eat the nice chicken fries. chili if I make it, dude. Like, it's creamy and w w weird looking. These are nice and dry now. That's what you yeah. want. Well, dry potatoes. Okay, back to my story. So, you guys, this is what we're doing. Because we made the regular chili, we haven't made chicken chili, Commander. I'm going to squeeze your little neck right here. Mm -mm -mm. That's me squeezing Commander's neck. Uh. Okay, so what we're going to do... I've been waiting, but I love chicken chili. Do you guys want us to do chicken chili? The, the one with, I've made before? Everything uh, you guys make looks delicious. White chicken. Everybody wants white chicken chili. Oh my God. We'll make it. We'll, we'll have to make it. it. Sometime. Okay, then never mind. Oh. Some, sometime. Okay, we'll make it, but we got to get the stuff for it because. Yeah, we, we put all the stuff back. We put we, all the stuff back because we weren't going to make the chili. Like yeah. the kidney meat. Right, let's let's uh, assemble these while they're hot. Wait, let me tell them my story. We're going to make the chips. Yeah, you know, but... Oh, okay. So, we're going to make, because we want to tell you guys how it works. I hate white chicken chili. Uh. <laughs> Commander, you... <laughs> Shit. I love you so much. <laughs> you guys, let me tell you. We're going to make that. <laughs> oh, Shit. <laughs> you guys, listen to my story, shit balls. We're going to make the, the, the lasagna, the Mexican lasagna. But we're, remember we told you guys that you can do, put corn in it, and you can do this and do this and do this. Okay, so we're going to make chicken, shred it. So we're going to Mexican it, put the taco seasoning packet on there. We're going to do pinto beans smashed. Remember we talked to you about you can make smashed beans? Okay, so we're gonna do smashed beans, refried beans, 
but we're gonna make the beans with you guys so you guys are gonna make the beans so we're doing chicken mexican like we're gonna season it with our taco packet mexican beans that are smashed and refried we're gonna do corn so it's gonna be a tex-mex uh lasagna so we're gonna do tomato corn red chili peppers and then everything else is the same so it's gonna be what we had told you guys and that way we can give you a good description to you guys if we if if the beef is better with the chili beans or the chicken with the refried beans is better so we're making basically the same thing but we're making it a tex-mex version with uh we're gonna do corn but it's gonna be what's that called fire roasted yeah we're gonna roast the corn so it has a little bit of char we're gonna do red chili pepper or red pep, uh, bell peppers and then we're gonna uh do pinto beans smashed and so they're gonna be smeared on the tortilla and then we're gonna do chicken cheese and all the rest of the stuff what do you guys think because we want you guys well the main two things is we want to be able to go hey this is our favorite or this is our favorite so that way you guys will say well if they like the chicken better i want to make the chicken one versus y'all just go buy the stuff for the chicken one and then y'all are like i bet the beef one was better so we're gonna make now that we know what the beef tastes like the shit it's it's good. it's good i don't know what else it's to like, say it's like a, making a wet burrito we make homemade wet burritos so it we love homemade wet burritos because we make the enchilada sauce we put the cheese we put the beans we put all the lettuce tomato the only thing that this was missing was a lettuce and tomato in it but we put sour cream on top we put jalapenos on top and we put the red peppers on top crunchy versus we're going to make it, the meat itself is going to have red peppers red peppers and uh corn that's black whatever that's called uh black roasted or something like that fire roasted corn it just looks like corn that's on the grill but we have gas fire so we're going to cook it and like make it look black lines on it and then we're going to take it off of the corn and then we're going to do the tomato we're going to do the red peppers and the uh, meat okay so it's going to be all of those <laughs> we're just very she said adopt me we're adventurous that's what it is is we like something we start thinking like what else can we use it for how can we make this we want it to be the best thing ever just gonna do two small batches so okay here's my it. i made buttermilk uh, ranch and then we had a bottle from heb or something like that but anyways i remember it's a packet of the 44 cent Pep, like a packet of your um i know some people make it with dill and all that other stuff but for 44 cents instead of putting instead of putting um milk it asks for milk and it asks for um mayonnaise whatever it's on the back it says mayonnaise right yep. and if you make the dip it's sour cream and mayonnaise and if you make uh the dressing it's milk and mayo we are we all i did was make homemade buttermilk <sighs> me and you and grateful we can play <laughs> why is it commander that always says the stupid shit because i literally got a visual when i read that i literally got a visual of freaking commander listen you guys you get um the packet one cup of mayo and then the one cup of milk then you get vinegar like joe was saying pour your vinegar into it they try to sell the hidden valley ranch packet for a dollar 89 and they're freaking high because for a dollar 89 you still have to go home and grab your mayo and if you don't have mayo you got to buy your mayo and you got to do all of it again no they're not going to take advantage of us, okay? So, did I already say uh, thank you for Faith? Faith, thank you very much. I know she's probably already left, but it just went in my head. Did I ever say thank you? I just said, anybody who blesses us, we, we're very grateful. Faith, uh, thank you for your cash up. I appreciate it. Okay, so, this was 44 cent packet made into homemade buttermilk. We had milk in the house already. I did, ha uh, I think we might have even had mayo. We might have had mayonnaise too. So mayo and milk we had at the house. 
I had everything to make this buttermilk ranch. And I, I'm from the Midwest. We eat buttermilk ranch on everything. Everything. We eat ranch on everything. Onion rings, fries, chicken nuggets, um, everything. We eat buttermilk ranch on everything. All right, y'all, we're going to start assembling. Start watching, y'all. Out of the kitchen, baby girls. And you guys can use the um, home style biscuit. We use the layer biscuit. Um, Joe, you want two of each, right? Yeah. And you're going to dunk one in the sauce? I'm, both of mine are going in the sauce. Oh, okay. I might do mine both in the sauce, too. Okay. So then I'm just going to put buttermilk, or do you not even want buttermilk? Uh, I do want mine. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of buttermilk ranch on there. Okay, buttermilk. And I'm going to put, because you can never have too much buttermilk. I'm sorry, guys. Anybody who's here on the healthy sides, please, this is not the live for you. We're frying things. Uh, did I redo a, a vegetarian meal this week? You guys, did I? I tried to do a vegetarian one for the people. I started trying to do that couple weeks ago i don't want to feel okay um i'm just gonna dunk are you on me dunk or what do you want me to do uh yeah you can dunk thank you sugar bear Purple. it's been off the heat for a while okay by choice guys you can do it any way you want but pixie girl thank you i'm gonna get this my dunk it in you don't have to do this. This is, you can pour it on instead. I'm dunking it like that. And I'm picking it up. You want lettuce on yours at all or not? Um, no, I'm just pickle. Okay. There you go, guys. And then you got to get some fries. You got salt on them? Yep. All right. All There's salted. one. I want to just do a tink and then we'll. Yeah, we'll put some fries chips you want me to do two or just do one just do one for each well i want to enjoy ours okay okay, <laughs> okay. get ahead. another plate up there right. if you guys have any questions give me two seconds and i will answer in a moment in a momento and you guys i'm sure you can just put a spoon of it of the hot sauce we knew that we we're oh i was rough with it all right <laughs> that's all right oh bring it over here baby there you go <laughs> you want ranch here i'll do ranch on your sandwich look at guys i can do it right on there there you go and you want your pickles on it or next pickles. to it you guys do it the way you guys like it. If you see somebody make something online, go, you know what? I don't like this. I'm not going to do that. Don't not make it because you don't like that one item. Oh, you only, do you have more puppas or are these all? I got these here. Oh, we have all of them? No, we're just doing it for a tink right now. Okay. I got you. Oh, those are good. Are they good? You guys, we made two potatoes. Mm, do you want to cut in half or just hold it? Just hold it. Okay. I need my soda pop. You guys look at we two potatoes. I mean, we have a whole stack over there yeah, on the count on the table still. Make, yeah. We we can still make our potatoes. Potatoes. That's our dessert. We have those to do. All right. Here okay, we ready. Go. Wait, which one's on the top shelf? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the top shelf one. Get okay, ready to do the tink, y'all. Chicken biscuits. Buffalo chicken biscuit. Ooh, yours looks good, right? Yeah. Okay, hold yours up, because yours is pretty. There you go. We put uh, pickles. You don't have to put pickles. You don't even have to put the hot sauce. You can just do the fried chicken. Yeah, just the fried chicken. With oh, lettuce and tomato. I love that. With this. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Look at that. Tink. 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 Take it. Where are you? Take it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Stop it. The hot sauce. I want okay. more pickles. Mmm. Mmm. That's a perfect, mm -hmm. that sauce is so good. Mm. 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 That sauce is good. Mm -hmm. 
That's really good. It's got a nice crunch. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You got. I think we gotta do the. Uh, these two are the. The, uh, the other one with the. I'm sorry, guys. Cornstarch, you know. Chip. Hmm. Let's tink. We're gonna tink. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tink. 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 Oh, Very good. Mm. You guys, we paid four fifty. One pan on chicken. Get out of the kitchen, Mama. Three fifty-two. You guys, you think I'm lying? Look, three, 3.32 for the chicken breast. We have that we're gonna do next, like with, the, with our um, tacos, what are we saying? The, what do we call it? The Mexican pizza, the Mexican um, lasagna. lasagna, that 3.32, so $1.50 is what well, how much chicken but no. it's got four sandwiches no, no, for no. us okay 332 yeah. the biscuits were 174 174 i think hgb charges for their brand that's how much we paid for this right now potatoes were three th 317 i believe but it was a five pound bag so two yeah, potatoes we made eight of these things yeah we could have made eight sandwiches mm -hmm. eight sandwiches you guys for 332 if we would have made all that chicken and used our biscuit it would have been five dollars for eight people to have slide. Look at how big the slider is. It's not really a slider. No. Look at the size of it. That's good, man. It's like a bun. I still have half. Okay, I still have half my sandwich. That's pretty good, man. It's very good. That, right? right, sauce. Definitely that. You guys, I'm not, I only tell you guys the prices because that's our whole point. Of our lives. Are we gonna eat these? Also? Now? Okay. I gotta make the icing real quick. No, you don't. Why? They're right there. Okay, ready? Oh, I need some pop. That's hot. Woo! I know. A little guys... spicy. It was great until just now. I <laughs> the whole thing. Okay, let's move these biscuits over. Okay, here we are. Okay, guys, uh, do you have regular milk you can grab for me, please? Yep. Oh, there's some powdered sugar. I didn't realize I was out of my powdered sugar. Oh, maybe I can't make my cinnamon rolls then. You got to be very careful how much. Oh, you can put the lime. You can put the pineapple juice in there. Or do you think, no, that'd be funny. I just didn't do it real quick here. Okay, just, just hurry, right? Yep. What if I didn't want this? Maybe I want pineapple juice. See that little bit? You guys, it goes a long way. Because I want it to be icing-y, not runny glaze. Oh, I might need a little more, Daddy. Tiny bit. And use your whisk first to make sure you get all the lumps of... Drop. You nervous, huh? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Nope, a little more. Sure. If I do more, I have... Sugar. Do more. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm scared to put a drop more. in there. Holy shit. That ain't a drop. That's a half a cup. <laughs> Joe, shut up. Oh, you guys, I'm going to quench this man. Put a little vanilla in it if you want to. I, it does change your your icing if you put vanilla in it. You guys, it's going to get a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Um, brown tint to it. So as long as you know it, you're fine. That's it, guys. You can put orange juice. I've done icing with orange juice. I've done icing with heavy cream. I've done icing with different flavors of creamer, you guys. Listen to that clearly. Different flavors of creamer you can use, okay? If you have a, a, a I don't know, a honey flavor creamer. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know what kind of creamers they make, but hazelnut. hazelnut flavor. You can use any kind of creamer you want. Oh, I'm done standing. I know, I know. 
Okay, these are what I made, you, you, guys. It, you guys. This was the four biscuits we used for biscuits to make. The other four, I put them on a cutting board. Cut them. I didn't cut them into fourths because they're too big to do in fourths. So I did them like in six. I did it down the middle, and then I did a one, two, three. So they were six pieces in each one. Okay, guys? And then I just put them in the muffin pan, a regular size muffin pan. And if you're gonna put icing, you gotta put icing after they cool off or it's gonna all drizzle into it and you'll never know that there was icing in them. But we made just small ones because sometimes it's just a small hankering. If you have people coming over, if you have the kids, if, if you're making them as appetizers, you guys, you don't need a muffin size one. It's a half a muffin. It serves its purpose, y'all. A little quieter, Daddy. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You can do anything you want here, you guys, really. We just, I didn't want to waste them. It's just Joe and I. But with one biscuit, it was $1.74. Tell, tell Milltown the uh, chicken were thinly sliced. The chickens, the they chicken breast were thinly sliced. So it probably was. Um, it's a little cheaper that way. I think, no, it's actually more expensive because they prep it. Yeah, yeah. Cut it for us but for what we needed, what we were gonna eat, what we're still gonna eat, yeah. it was perfect. So we, we just because she paid thirteen bucks for four chicken breasts just now. Um, because I mean can. we we literally look for very cheap stuff. It was one pound three, and it was two ninety nine a pound. <laughs> Thinly sliced chicken breast with rib meat. Thinly sliced chicken breast, three thirty. Oh wait. It's oh three ninety two guys. I'm sorry, not three thirty two. It was three ninety two, so it was three dollars a pound, and it was a little over a pound, about an, a pound and a quarter. So that's why it was a little more than three dollars. So that was what we spent for our chicken. But I mean, you guys, honestly, if I could buy and buy a whole breast and then stick it in the freezer and only buy it once a, a month, I would do it. I don't have. Four hundred dollars to spend on groceries. I have, whatever you know. That's that. That's, we buy what we can. That's why sometimes we're like, oh my god, they're making something again with chicken. It's like, yeah, we bought Lake Quarters, and that was the cheapest that we could buy. And so I don't. I, anyways, if we buy what we can afford. Sometimes we have a few things with potatoes because potatoes are kind of cheap for us. So I mean, we, we chose this to help our daughter. We didn't have to. She's in hungry until she comes home our lifestyle is a little bit different we know what it's like to travel we know what it's like to go into five-star restaurants we know what it's like to buy food very nice good quality food and restaurants for right now until she comes home we don't the other end of the spectrum <laughs> <laughs> you know what we have one chance to be a mom i was blessed that the lord chose me let's take take two babe. okay guys let's go <laughs> Let's go. Okay, right. calm down, Ivan. We'll choose this one. Yum. You can warm it up. Once you get icing on it, then warm it up. It's just if you do it before, look at you guys, your icing will go through it. See how you can see it? If you do it when it's hot, your icing will go right through it. Yeah, you want it to dry up on there. You want it to be dry Pretty hard. Yeah. Tink. Tink. Ooh. Always good. Mmm. They're so soft. Mm hmm. Mmm. Uh -huh. Those are good. Mm. It's probably about three quarters of a biscuit because there's only four here. And if I made eight of them, I just try to even out how many are in each little spot. That's how I know, like, how many. So I, cut them up into cubes, right? Nope. I cut them. Here's a circle. I cut it down the middle. And then I said one, two, three. So they were, like, into six pieces each one. And then when I get, I put them in this, it's cinnamon and sugar, I move it around. <sighs> Inside of this is a cinnamon and sugar. I toss it around with a fork and then I get the little muffin pan. Oh, we put it away. It's a regular muffin pan and I just put about six, maybe five in each one. Four or five in each one. And that makes the size. Andrew says, Mom, 
Don't you feel guilty eating in front of me and my two sisters? Because <laughs> everybody says that they're going to move over here. Uh, and so she's like, we can be playing out in the yard. I was dead as soon as I read Commanders. Oh, well, we got to. We gotta make them other two chicken things. You guys are. Ones, those are the ones with the uh, cornstarch over there. You guys are always welcome to visit me. Always welcome. You only like ton tops. Of, I love mutton, muffin tops too. Um, I think they're really good and soft. I'm gonna make up one with the cornstarch. Okay. So we can we're gonna see. head out. My fingers are greasy. It's been over an hour. I love you all. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Don't come in. If you've got family, come in on replay. If you have family, you have your kids, you have your work, you have anything. Please, please make me the most happiest creator here. Spend it with your kids. Spend it with your family. Spend it with your husband. I, I'll see you on the next live. There's a, always going to be one tomorrow. Excuse me, darling. Sorry, Dave. You're okay. Just know that. I love you guys. Trust me. When you're not here, I go, oh, my gosh, where's she at? I haven't seen her in a while. Or when Legs comes in or Marissa comes in. Or commander, I'm like, damn bitch, wasn't here at seven. What's up? I know I moved the time. That's why she wasn't here. I love you guys here when we start. I know you guys have a life. Trust me. I love all of you guys. And I, I can't hog you up to myself. I know your husbands love you. I know your kids love you. I know your grandkids love you. So I can't hog y'all up. All my little children, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we're making frijoles from the beginning to the end. I'm going to try the one with the cornstarch. We're making beans tomorrow, guys. If anybody doesn't like beans, mm. this wouldn't be the live for you. We're going to make chorizo and papas. I use crispier. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll make one. Okay. We're making um, refried beans, and we're making them with chorizo and papas. <sighs> free ho, free. <laughs> I missed it. Um, I got cornstarch in these ones. You can taste so the difference. We're using a cup of flour. We use about a half a cup of cornstarch to add to it. About half as much. The flour and this come out crispier. Does it? Mm hmm. It's crispy. Okay. I believe you. Okay, guys. Mm. Tomorrow we're making the beans. Oh, it's a mess. We got beans. The Refried beans, but I'm going to do some of them beforehand so when you guys come on. You'll see what they started like and the finished product. And then we're making chorizo and beans burrito or taco. I love you all. Email me. Hit me up. Questions, concerns. Share me if you guys can. I'd really appreciate you guys sharing me. Watch some of our old videos. There's some in videos and there's some in lives. Please, we'd love for you to watch them. Help us get our fat last 500 hours. If you're able to do a Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, I would love it. It would greatly appreciate it. We can greatly use it. Don't feel like you have to. Don't put yourself or your home or anything of yours in, in any kind of jeopardy for us. Please. <laughs> um, yeah, just know that. We love you. We love you guys, whether you guys give us something. We love you whether you share us. We love you whether you like it. We love y'all, no matter what. Little babies love you too. Show them, baby. The like button before you. Yes, hit the like little, button. Show the little girls. Look at you guys, they're all drained out. There's one. They're not allowed in the kitchen, so they stay over there. And then there's the other one. The thing is, you guys, um, they go through shedding, and they don't understand that they're shedding this time of the year. So in order for them to not get confused and us not have to get mad at them for no reason, we just don't allow them in the kitchen while we're cooking. I mean, they, 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 if, if they're allowed in the kitchen all the time, and then I say, oh my gosh, they're shedding, their hair is everywhere, get out of the kitchen. Then it's confusing for them. They're like, what? I was just in the kitchen yesterday, and now I can't come in here today, or I was just in there last week, and now I can't. It's just like, stay out of the kitchen while we're cooking. We're with hot grease. We don't want to bump into them. L. It's uh, L. Uh, it's, she's a, she is a pit bull, but she's a pocket bully. She's a pocket. She's got a bigger head and shorter legs. So that's a pocket bully, standard American pocket bully. Mm -mm. Sissy, no. Oh, she is uh, purebred. AKC and UKC. Uh, AK, ABKC. She's certified. Yeah, she's certified ABKC and uh, UKC. Yep. United. Double, double certified. Yeah. United Kennel and then American Bully. Yeah. Okay, guys, come on. We're done cooking. 
What are you talking about, She's the real deal. What is? <laughs> I love you. Hold on. I love you. I love you. <laughs> there you go. There they did. Both did it three times. I love you. I, gentle with mama. You be gentle. Good girl. You can say, I love they, you. They love their carrots. I love you. Listen to mama. Good girl. You. Sit. Be gentle with mama. Be gentle. Good girl. That's go. it, guys. Done. That's it. Guys, we love you all. We we're out. We out. <laughs> Joey, we're out. We Is out. there any questions or are you just not answering them? Oh, no. Here, yeah, That's why I said... Here, talk to him. Hey. <laughs> mm, hold on. Someone said they're so cute. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Commander, thank you for dropping the links, Mama. She's a certified G. <laughs> uh, carries a dust, the email. She is adorable. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. My dogs are my life. They will not eat carrots. My dogs will eat carrots. Wrap them in bacon. Yeah, no oh, doubt. No doubt, yeah. They'll like carrots then. Uh, free holes. <laughs> <laughs> I like Commander, carrots Commander, I'm going to punch you. I love you all. You guys are just great people. I think that's it, y'all. I love you all. Thank you guys for coming in. If you guys have any questions and you guys thought about it after you guys left, email me. I'll hook you up with the answer. <laughs> the vegetarians watch because of the humor, not the food. <laughs> Amanda, shut up. I love you. <coughs> all right, I'm going to get off because I'm hot. Y'all see me? The, the, the sandwich is hot. It's hot here right now. Sandwich is good. Sandwich is good. It was really good. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> really good.